Welcome to Quilted Haven. We are sure that you will have a lovely lifestyle as you reside in this lovely community. Thank you, Mayor Alice. From the start, I was in love with Quilted Haven. Especially with these transportation systems, I just had to move here. Okay, so today I came to see... Oh, I'm Diesel. Are you Jenny, the transportation manager? Yes, yes I am. And who might you be? Mary, your biggest fan. You're in my textbooks. Well, again, welcome to Coats of Haven. You have made an excellent choice to come here, especially with our exceptional transportation system and welcoming environment. We provide many excellent features in our city. Located on the peninsula, the Coats of Haven receives sources of water from the nearby Gulf of Odana. One distinct feature is our flat terrain, which allows people to traverse quicker and smoother throughout our city. We have about 290,000 people populating our city today, and we are a very diverse community. Last summer, one of my close friends visited here, and she was so excited when she came home. She told me all about the Kotsu Tan, where she was amazed with the history of the vehicles, and she also told me about the Dobu, one of the most diverse zoos she has ever been to, with everything from pandas to narwhals. Well, don't forget about the Centauri Park. Palm trees scatter the fields and feel very calm and relaxing. Yes, and just this morning, I walked by the Gulf of Ujana. I saw people there surfing, sailing, jogging, and just having fun. I also got a glimpse at the Kosu Biru. Structure was magnificent. Oh, our city is in all beauty and fun. Have you ever met the Kenko yet? They are the best robotic assistants anyone could ever ask for. That way, nurses employed at the Garandal Hospital aren't under too much stress, and they can always use a bit of extra help. With our well-educated doctors, every citizen is insured to great health and immediate aid when they encounter medical problems. Pharmacists create the best medical products and are very experienced. Our police and fire department are top-notch. With our SOSICOM, police and firefighters are always first responders. According to a poll, 97% of our citizens are satisfied with our police coverage of Coats Haven. I was also very impressed with our education. I can't wait to come to the university here next year. I've never used an interactive desk before, and we each receive our own iPad Air 10. The teachers here are also very experienced, having scored the highest in the city teacher exam. Yes, the CTE is one of the most prominent exams of the city. Since we value our education greatly, we train our teachers very well so they can achieve maximum levels of intelligence to educate students. Okay, so now I know that the teachers here must be extremely brilliant. Wait, did I forget to tell you about our infrastructure? Oh, psh, infrastructure? That must be the major component of Coats and Haven. You might not know this, but I am very wise as well and know everything about this. Coats and Haven is powered with natural gas, wind energy, and solar energy, and a big portion of the buildings are equipped with solar panels. Our waste is not in our city. Everything is recycled here. But the tiny bit of waste that we cannot reuse or recycle is exported into neighboring cities. But, but where do I recycle my items? Our recycling center, located in the center of Coats of Haven, is visited by numerous people daily. Ordinary citizens like you will come in with a few recyclable materials to put it right in our bins. Oh, I see. That's amazing. Our transportation system is also amazing. That's why students, past students of our Coats of Haven High were taught more in the edu engineering field so they produced the ESCO bus. It was an original idea from the, from the Shenzhen Hashi Future Parking Equipment Company. And we changed it up by powering it by magnetic energy, increasing the capacity, along with using solar energy to power the interior. Oh, there has been much talk about Coastal Haven's brilliant innovation. The ESCO bus travels above ground on stilts and carries up to 200 passengers, reducing traffic jams. It also allows cars to travel underneath. Powered by magnetic energy, the ESCO bus is pulled along the tracks using a magnetic force. The interior is powered with solar energy. Yeah, and I know for a fact that the interior of the ESCO bus is full of lounges that are comfortable, relax relaxing, and suitable for everyone. It's handicap accessible and has inflatable sides at the emergency doors in case of an accident. In addition, we have another innovation called the Skyperway. It goes at a speed of 100 miles per hour and is elevated 75 feet high. It is powered by wind energy and a propeller in the front. It is practically irresistible and a must ride for tourists. As tourists soar through our airplanes, they are immediately awestruck by the beautiful and amazing scenery of our city. These transportation systems are key factors to the increasing development of Coats of Haven. With these, we have many ESCO buses sliding along tracks 
and a looping skyway running through the city. This allows city citizens to move in and around our city easily. Yep, and I'm sure a civil engineer had a lot to do with these transportation systems. Their key role is to design roads, bridges, highways, railway lines, and dams to contribute to the development of our transportation systems. Another key role for them is to decide where these transportation systems will lead to, which also contributes to the efficiency of the transportation system. Don't forget about environmental engineers. They also play an amuse a huge role in our transportation systems. They add eco-friendly ways of powering our transportation. For example, they help um, decrease the amount of pollution and, and carbon emissions that are in the air. So, any more questions? I'm just so glad to have moved to Coats of Haven. Well, Coats of Haven is obviously the ideal society to reside in, and the future lies upon us. Quality, Quality transportation, a superior future, it's all at Coats of Haven. Today's transportation system does not have many levels. It is usually on flat land, such as just roads and some ramps and the subways underground. But here, our future city, we, um, we built the Skyperway above ground as an above ground subway so that more people could see it and it would e be easier for goods to be transported into the city. Great job, girls. Um, just a question. What is one concept you learned about city planning that you would like to see implemented in the city in which you live? We planned our city to have three zones planned out very well. Our residential areas are in the middle of the city, while industry and commercial are on the outskirts. And the important buildings like the hospital and the police and fire department and the schools as well are scattered throughout the middle so that easy access can be given to our citizens. How much energy do you think your city would require? Well, for our city, we power by three ways. We use natural gas, windmill energy, and solar panels. And on each building, it is um, specialized with a certain type of solar panel that would power enough energy for that single building, which allows everything to be powered. 